What's going on guys? My name is Bill. This is Tool Tech Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, I like to bring you guys tools I've been using in my videos or that I've been using on projects in and around my garage. Today's tool is my junkyard bag. These are the tools that go with me every time I make a run to the junkyard. I gotta go help someone out with a car, any kind of like mobile wrenching project. These are the tools that go with me every time. The tools in this bag live in this bag. They don't get used or they don't get, you know, taken in and out every time I go somewhere. I find it's just easier to have a set tool bag that's ready to go. Now, obviously I will add to these tools, you know, cordless impact, cordless ratchets, things like that, that just kind of, depending on the job that I'm doing, if I need a specific tool, then I'll add to it or just convenience items like those. But for the most part, everything in this bag lives in this bag. So go ahead and get started. Obviously the bag is a Bauer bag from, from a Harbor Freight. Now I've tried like one of those tool backpacks or larger like hard sided totes. The backpack worked great, but as you start to add tools, they get heavy, cumbersome, and I really don't want to lug it around the junkyard. I find it's a lot easier to have a roller. Um, and then this size obviously also, which is nice is I can, you know, if I take a part off, I can dump it in the bag until I go pay for it. Um, and I have, like I said, more room to add stuff. So this is the bag I like to use. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna get started with the outside pockets. Those will go quick. I don't like to keep a lot of tools on the outside. Let me kind of reposition here a little bit and I'll show you what's, what I got going on. All right, so like I said, I don't like to keep a lot of things on the outside. I feel, you know, rolling around the junkyard, it's just an opportunity for things to fall out and get lost. Not that, like I said, the tools in here if something goes missing, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. They're not expensive tools, they're not the best of the best, they're just a cheap set of tools that can get my job done. So, on this pocket here is where I just kinda of toss my gloves. Again, I don't really keep a whole lot going on. I keep a couple of these pouches. Now what I'm gonna do is I'll leave a link down below to a lot of these items, especially these pouches, these things are great. So in this one, like this one says, I got picks and punches, so in here, I keep just a multitude of different different punches. You just gotta knock out a bolt or something gets stuck. I keep picks for you know for O-rings or seals, whatever it might be. That's and it's just a bunch of different bunch of different sizes in here. So that's all that really stays in this bag. I like to have the bags labeled so that I can quickly grab a bag and I know exactly what's in it. So that's what lives in this one. This bag, again, obviously labeled snap ring. So I keep a set of, you know, reversible snap ring pliers. Makes it again, nice and easy to, to pull out C-clips and stuff like that if you're you know, going for like a U-joint, whatever the case may be. And there's a bunch of different add-on pieces. On this side, I keep an, an Allen set. So it's a full standard metric Allen set. Um, again, I like to keep this on the side just so it doesn't take a whole lot of space and just easily fits into that side pocket. That's all that I keep on the outside. You know, again, I don't want stuff falling out. I don't want stuff, you know, going missing. So with that, let's go ahead and we'll move to the inside. All right, the first item I keep on the inside is just an old mechanics type of tool pouch. And this is where I keep a lot of the loose items. Just, I can just quickly throw stuff in here keep stuff organized, I guess. Hand wipes, a lot of times these will get taken out and just thrown into the car or the truck and then obviously get used when I'm done. But I just keep them in there, that way I always have some that goes with me to the junkyard. PB blaster, obviously, you know, rusted bolts, things like that. It's good to have something like this to maybe, you know, you can soak some bolts, let them kind of break free until you, you know, move on to something else, come back later. And then you have hopefully a bolt broken free. Uh, let's see, I like to keep, a, I try to keep everything on rails when it comes to sockets and adapters and things. Again, it keeps them from floating around and getting lost in the bag. It just keeps them somewhat organized. I got some you know, half inch and three eighths impact you know, universals, different size adapters. Uh, these here, you know, there's an impact. I can slide that through. Now I've got like a big you know, T-handle type of bar Again, I keep these all on, all on the socket rails. 
just kind of keeps things organized. So yeah, I love these little shorty socket rails. You're gonna see a lot of these in my junkyard bag. Let's see, what else? Um, again, extensions, longer extensions. I've recently kind of redid some of this bag and the, most of my stuff now is impact. I do have a few chrome items, but for the most part, it's all impact. Cheap set of safety glasses. So I keep my, my 3 8 ratchet is in here. Again, just makes it easy to just throw it in. It doesn't get lost in the bag, easily found. Multi-bit screwdriver. This thing is so much better than carrying around a bunch of different screwdrivers. I can shorten it. Again, you know, there's all the different bits and I have a small bit set. And this thing has all the kind of like weird, funky bits in it. It's got, you know, uh, it's like safety torques. It's got some weird other little safety bits. Your standard Phillips. Kind of like, this is kind of like the oddball bit set. And the handle of this has the other bits, normal ones that you use, other Torx bits, Phillips, standard, whatever the case may be. But yeah, I find this a lot more convenient than carrying around a bunch of different screwdrivers. Um, to go with that, I also have the Klein multi-bit. Again, this is great for doing like, in, if you're pulling interior pieces, I can swap this around to different size sockets, anything from quarter inch up to half inch. I have different, basically I use this as like a nut driver in conjunction with the screwdriver handle. Now I have basically a nut driver that I can use. Usually I use this, like I said, on interior parts. Well, let's see, what else? I got body panel pieces, you know, again, for, for removing trim and stuff like that. I keep a set of, you know, some of these in there. Nice and convenient to have. Now, I tend to carry 3 8 or M12 Milwaukee tools with me. Um, so I have a battery adapter. This thing I can slop onto an M12 battery. I can pop this on there. And now I can test things. I can, you know, power up a relay. I can test lights. I can test all kinds of different things with this setup right here. So I keep this in this bag also. A uh, little pouch for, for parts. A lot of times if I'm you know, grabbing relays or screws from you know, mounting screws or parts I take off, a lot of times I'll throw them in this little junk pouch and keep that in there also. Uh, the seam ripper. So this is actually just a sewing tool that this thing is great for stripping down wire, you know, uh, wire bundles. If you want to cut the sheathing off of wires, off a, off a wire bundle, you take this, you put it in there and just run this along. Cuts the sheathing off without having to worry about damaging the wires underneath. Again, just something quick and easy. I just toss it in there. Uh, a magnet, you go drop something. Nice to have a magnet. But yeah, that's what pretty much lives in this bag. And this, like I said, this whole thing just gets tossed inside. Makes it easy. I can, you know, pull this out of the bag, throw it in the ground. Everything is contained. I don't have to worry about losing anything. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the other items inside the bag. So another thing that I really like about this bag is the inside. So I can easily have all of my wrenches and, and pliers and stuff like that nice and easily organized inside here and all these little loops along the side. There's some on this side, little pouches up along here. But yeah, so I find it, it's easy to just keep everything organized all along on the side. Let me show you exactly what is in here. So the first thing is a good pry bar. You gotta be able to you know, get parts out quick and easy. This is where a pry bar, you know, separating a transmission from an engine, cross members, moving stuff around, a good long pry bar to get that leverage you're gonna need to move things around. Breaker bar. Now, I have a 3 8 breaker bar here. Most of the stuff I work with is 3 8 I find it's just easier and it's normally fine. I have yet to break a socket, a 3 8 socket, trying to get something out that is really torqued down. But with that being said, I do carry a half inch ratchet. Now this one is by Nico. And what I like about it, is it's extendable. So again, it's another breaker bar. It is a half inch um, for some of the larger things. 
even though I pretty much just put a half inch to three eighths adapter on there and run three eighths sockets. It's nice to have that little bit of extra, extra length if I need it. But yeah, so I carry that extendable half inch ratchet by Nico. Um, let's see on the inside, gotta have a good hammer, good heavy ish hammer. Persuade things loose that don't want to come loose. Um, let's see. A good pair of cutters. These things are great. These will cut through pretty much any cabling. I try not to cut cables, but there are times when you have to. So a good pair of cutters come in really, really handy. Uh, trim work. If you're pulling in inside door panels, obviously you don't want to damage the clips and stuff like that. You want to be able to reuse them. So a good internal or a good... Uh, pry tool to pop out the retainers for interior panels and things like that. Uh, let's see, just a standard adjustable wrench. Again, you know, holds the backside, hold the nut, and get into some places, really handy. Different size of channel locks. Actually, these are pretty much the same size, but different kinds. So I carry a set of those. Uh, a good pair of diagonal cutters. They said most of these are, like, these are craftsmen. These are old craftsmen that I've had for, I don't know how long. They just live in this bag. And so they're good to have, again, cutting cables, things like that. Your standard adjustable pliers. Good pair of needle nose. And that's, as far as pliers go, pretty much it. Like I said, if I find that I need a specific tool, I'll throw it in here. But for the most part, these live in this bag. Now let's get to what I'm sure is what everybody wants to see is the sockets and the wrenches that I carry. All right, so sockets. Like I said, I've recently kind of been reworking the tools that I carry. I used to carry a cobalt chrome ratchet and socket set. That's where that 3 8 ratchet came from. But I started to find it was kind of limiting, especially that I'm starting to pull some metric parts out now, some imports. So I needed some metric sockets. So I picked up this 3 8 impact driver set by AMM. I'll leave links to all of these tools down below. Um, this is the socket set that I carry, only I don't carry it in this case. Um, I find this to be just too big. It was everything that I needed, but it was just too big and I felt it was a waste of space. I mean, that's, you know, if you look at like the whole top, there's nothing there. So this I found to be a waste of space. So what I did, is I picked up this pouch. Actually, I've got this off of, believe it or not, Timu. It was like four or five bucks for a pouch like this. I don't care what happens to it. I can throw this on the ground in the junkyard. And then all of my sockets live in this bag along with, you know, some more extensions. Um, I carry, these are some stubby, really short uh, sockets made by Astro. I just did a tool tech video on these last week. If you haven't seen that, go check that video out. Um, I get these socket rails that fit in this pouch and I can load them up both sides. And that gives me, you know, all the standard on one side, all the metric on the other, and it fits in this pouch. So yeah, Astro nano sockets, super, super handy to have these. And then all my other sockets, so here are standard, short, and long impacts, again, on one of these socket rails. These, I believe, are also tools, socket rails. Uh, oh, Aries. There we go. There's the name right there. Again, I'll leave links to all these down below. And I find this just to be really convenient. This fits right in that pouch. So, and then, again, I have metric. So metric from 8 to 14 and then larger size 15 to 22, along with this is a 32 millimeter for pulling like Subaru axles. Um, again, I, you know, as I find things that I need, I can throw them in here. What I really like about having this setup is, again, it keeps everything organized and I can be working and let's say I need to switch sockets. So let's say I'm running the 15 millimeter and then nope, I need to, I need to run, you know, I need to grab the 10 millimeter. Now I can do that. I can just take my socket, throw it in the pouch, 
and it's not going to roll away on me. It's not going to get lost in the junkyard. I can just use this to hold sockets. You know, and then I get done with the 10, I go back to my 15, and then maybe I need to run the 12. I can just throw the sockets in here that I'm not currently using, but I know I'm going to need again, not put them back on the rails, throw them in there. They're not going to roll around. They stay contained. That way I don't, I don't have to be as concerned about losing stuff in the junkyard. Again, guys, yeah, this was, like I said, off Timu. It was like four or five bucks. Great pouch. Yeah, it's, got, it's got good thick material on it. So laying on the ground in the junkyard, it's not going to tear open on me. It's got a little bit of padding on the inside. Not that that really matters, but it's, it's actually a good thick quality pouch. Double stitching seams on the inside. Really well made for four or five bucks off Timu. This has got to be probably one of the best ways I've found to carry your sockets, stay organized, and not have to worry about losing stuff in the junkyard. Just close that up. And that goes right into the bag. I have all the sockets that were in this case and more in this, instead of this big thing. Now, when it comes to my wrenches, I have this Dickies tool roll. And this thing, again, super convenient. You know, I can easily, let me move stuff around here a little bit. I have all of my wrenches right here, both standard and metric. Like this, as the stuff falls out of the pouch, it doesn't end up in the bottom of my tool bag or on the floor in the junkyard. It stays contained in the tool roll. Again, super, super convenient to have everything right here. Again, I can just take this, roll this up. And toss that whole roll right in the bottom of my bag and it keeps all my wrenches contained. I don't have them all on, you know, you see some people carry them on big loops. I find that to be inconvenient. Either I take it off the loop or, or work with everything kind of dangling off there. Just, I find this to be so much easier and so much more convenient. So there you go, guys. Those are the tools that live in this bag. Like I said, these tools, they don't get taken out and put away when I get home. They live in this bag. This bag gets, you know, put, kept in the trunk of the car, the back of the truck, corner of the garage, whatever the case may be. Those tools live in this bag. Now, obviously, depending on the job that I'm doing, if I'm going for something that's maybe a little more involved. I always take a, an impact, whether it be a 3 8 which guys, I just recently picked up the Milwaukee M12 3 8 impact. This thing is a beast. I took this thing to the junkyard the other day. This thing was breaking axle nuts free. Um, I didn't find anything that this thing couldn't break free. Now, obviously I wasn't going after the thing that's really, really high torque, but I was surprised those uh, Subaru axle nuts 32 millimeter nut. I don't know what they're torqued to. This thing broke them free. I also will throw in a 3 8 ratchet. I like to carry the 3 8 tools with me just because the batteries are smaller. I can carry more of them, you know, weight. Even though it is a roller, taking this thing out of the trunk of the car or out of the back of the truck, you know, whatever the case may be, I just find it's easier, more convenient to have smaller tools. Um, but I do, I will carry the you know half inch impact with me, the M18 if I need to, maybe a cutoff wheel, which depending on where you live, if I take a cutoff wheel to the junkyard with me or here in Vegas, I gotta take a fire extinguisher. Um, but you can throw a Sawzall in here. Um, just whatever specialty tools. So these will get thrown in the bag as I'm going. And then when I get home, obviously get taken out and get put away. But yeah, guys, it is so convenient to have a bag that's always ready to go. Like I said, I can, if, a, if my son-in-law calls up and says, hey, I need help with my car, I can grab this bag and go to his place. You know, friends call up, they got, you know, something they need help with, throw this bag in the back and go to their place. It's just convenient to have something like this that I don't have to go and, like, think about. All right, I'm going to the junkyard. I want to go pull this, I want to pull this, I want to pull this. I'm going to need this wrench and this wrench and these sockets and this and that. Guys, it's just easy to have 
tools in a bag like this. Now, like I said, most of those tools, the, that 3 8 socket set, that impact socket set that I have, it's not that expensive. So, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of investment, but you don't go and buy the most expensive tools to keep in this bag. If I lose these tools, if I lose one of those wrenches, one of those sockets, whatever, one of those pairs of pliers, I'm not gonna be heartbroken. I'm not throwing expensive tools. I'm not lugging expensive tools to the junkyard. I'm taking tools that will get the job done, but if I lose them or break them, they're easily replaced, and I'm not gonna be heartbroken over it. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, get back to work.